Everyone, thanks for watching Mike MD. What I have here is a BMW $1400 high pressure diesel fuel pump. And we're about to see what's inside. Just going straight for it. Oh yeah. So this pump came apart inside here and contaminated the entire fuel system. BMW four-cylinder diesel and caused about $10,000 worth of damage on it. We ended up having to replace the fuel tank with fuel lines, the intake fuel sending unit and fuel pump, all the injectors, the fuel rail, and there was shavings found in almost all those components. And of course a new fuel filter. Well, I guess that's not coming off. I don't know if it's glued in with some Loctite or something, but let's try this. Let's try this one. Maybe I can get to it from underneath. All right, what is this thing? This looks like a solenoid that regulates the fuel pressure. Electrical connection goes right there, interesting. There's a little screen inside here that looks like prevents foreign debris from getting in. Not much else going on up top. Maybe if I take this little set screw out. I really thought a lot of these bolts would be tighter and with Loctite. But it's surprisingly pretty easy to take off. This one has a seal on it. So this is almost like an orifice adjuster kind of screw it looks like, almost like a jet screw like on a carburetor. Interesting. Let's see what's under this cap. I guess I have to get the, big, get the big screwdriver out. There it is. Oh, look at that. There's a big bolt on top. I'm sure this does some things. I'm a little nervous to take this off. I feel like it might be a spring or something underneath. I'm not quite sure. I really want to get this face off first just so I can see what's going on inside there. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to attempt to take this off here. Okay, because I think there's a spring under here, I'm gonna open them slowly. You can see inside there, something's pushing up on this thing. Okay, I think it's safe. To keep going doesn't seem like there's that much pressure pushing up that one's at the end i have one more i think whoa there it is not too bad not too bad all right well fuel pressure comes out of this port right here here's the intake and return so fuel comes from the tank whatever it doesn't use it pushes it back out and this right here is the high pressure port this is enough pressure right here, if focused on your finger, could actually slice it in half. It's under extreme amount of pressure. So this looks like the little actual orifice pump where it feeds through here. Almost like a squirt gun, high pressure squirt gun. I'm not sure what this is or if it'll come off. It might be a high pressure relief valve maybe. That thing is pretty tight. All right, I got it. I really have to put it back together and return it. It does have a core of about $460. I'll check that out. Some kind of little orifice with a screen on it. It's kind of neat looking. Not sure what it does. I still can't get this off here. I really don't want to mess it up too bad. It's coming off, guys. See it. Oh. 
Oh yeah, there it is. Whew. Check it out. That's cool. The housing, obviously. Oh, look at that. There's that little piston that this thing went on, which is like, actually the pump is inside of here, really. So it looks like, check this out. This actually goes inside of the engine and when the engine turns, it's turning this shaft right here. So this is bolted to the engine. So when this shaft turns, it's turning a lobe on here, on that shaft. Look at that, man, that's aggressive. Pretty neat. And this is moving this little lobe up and down. Look, at there's a roller bearing on this thing. How cool is that? This little lifter lobe right here has a horizontal roller bearing on it. Pretty neat, obviously to reduce friction. I think it goes like that really. So it goes up and down. How cool is that? I really don't see much going on here as far as damage. So I'm not quite sure. We did see metal shavings in the system, but I'm not really seeing much here. Very interesting. I thought I would see a lot more damage in this thing. Pretty cool guys. Pretty cool. I see why it's so expensive. It's machined very well. It's actually made by Bosch. Bosch makes it. Made in Germany, BMW. Pretty awesome. Oh, look at that, it comes out. This is really cool, beautiful. It's almost like jewelry, really. I think. Guys, thanks for joining me today on taking apart this high pressure fuel pump. Please like and subscribe if you like more videos like this. And happy motoring to you.